the driving job out there. 365 with a 7 at 204 miles an hour. Takes down the points leader here on round one. 368 with a 1, 204 the speed. Tommy was behind the starting line by just a few thousandths of a second. But Franklin rockets in to round two later today. Two North Carolina runners will go side by side here in the opening round. Cam Clark on the left hand side of the racetrack out of Reedsville, North Carolina. The Cumberland Farm and Auto 69 Camaro owned by Mark Engel for Premier Concrete Solutions. DT Motorsports. Pat Musi providing the horsepower. 959 cubic inches for Cam Clark. And Marcus Butner on the right hand side out of Tobaccoville, North Carolina. The Heartbreaker 1969 Camaro for Butner Construction. Twin City Rebar. Jay Cox Racing, Liberty's Gears, another one of those Musi Mills underneath the hood scoop for him, 973 cubic inches. I'm going to tell you, major implications, ladies and gentlemen, this pair you see on the starting line. Cam Clark, Marcus Butner, the reason why you win this and you get a buy run in round number two, so that will give you a ride to the semifinals here at the Mid-Atlantic Showdown in Pro Nitrous. So for Cam Clark... Number 13 qualifier, we've seen the underdog make some upsets happen already in Pro Nitrous today. That was early on in the round. So Marcus Butner, got a great race car over there on the right side. Jay Cox and everybody at Butner Construction. Pat Musi Racing Engines. Making that thing go. Clark did some testing between Galat and here. The car seemed good throughout those testing sessions, but qualifying, it was a different story. 809 and 542 are not the numbers that Cam Clark was open for. They're in 16 to a 12. Clark gets all kinds of crossed up in the 330-foot cone. It is taken out by Cam Clark's Chevrolet Camaro. Marcus Butner, 366, 205 the speed. He got out in front of Cam Clark, thankfully, and never looked back. So but Butner gets the buy run next round in Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. We'll go out and start replacing cones out there. But Cam Clark, all kinds of crossed up. They were four thou a part of the starting line. But the Cumberland Farm and Auto Chevy made a hard move to the right, and it was just too much for Cam to overcome and keep his car in that left side of the racetrack without crossing over, and he ended up behind Marcus Butner. Watch the floor race against it replay if you're back home. Cam's car up in the air and right there, crossing over, and I thought he was going to get all three cones out there on the racing surface, but... You can see the tire shake just. And Clark had his hands full as a driver. Both cars in one piece, and that's all that matters. Mincer Motorsports Pro Street. We need you to the staging lanes for round number one, please. Mincer Motorsports Pro Street, presented by AFCO Racing. We need you. Pro Street, we need you to the staging lanes. So right now, low. Elapsed time for the opening round of competition here in Pro Nitrous is Tommy Franklin at 365.7. Marcus Butner went 366.4. Second low ET of the round, but we still have Jim Halsey to come, your number one qualifier. Waiting back there underneath the tunnel currently. And this is prime opportunity for Freddie Scribenow and Jim Halsey to gain ground in the championship points on at race number two with Brian Schrader out of here. Opening round of competition. We'll talk about round two matchups here in a moment once Jim goes A to B and get that clean up down out there on the racetrack. Some extra foam pieces laying out there that, well, aren't exactly supposed to be there. But overall, Scotty Gore, I'll tell you, it has been a very exciting <laughs> first round <laughs> well, in Pro Nitrous. It kind of set the tone with our first pair out. You know, Ricky Smith was a little bit tardy yep. getting to the, to the staging lanes for first round, and then 
an upset win for Ford. Yeah, good, I mean, good weather conditions, great side-by-side -side drag racing. That's what it's all about. And uh, there's horsepower to be made out there. Teams are taking advantage of that for sure. And uh, I believe we're going to find out just how good it is when Jim Halsey takes his by run here. And don't forget there, coming up right behind these nitrous breathing monsters is Pro Boost. And that was absolutely insane in qualifying. So I think it's our fastest Pro Boost field ever. Pretty sure you're right on that. So, but before we get there, Jim Halsey on a single pass here out of Havana Grace, Maryland, the Cecil County Dragway 1968 Camaro for Schweitzer Dynamics, Yellow Bullet Nationals, Purnell Body Shop, big old Fulton horsepower underneath the hood scoop. And Jimmy is getting this new car figured out. See Kathy out there as she watches Jim come back to the starting line. Jim Halsey is a very busy guy, if you think about things. Is, uh, not only does he have a full-time construction business back in Maryland, runs the racetrack, operates you know, with a full schedule, and uh, they put on quite a few big events there with the Yellow Bull, as you talked about. They have a Pro Mod Invitational, some other stuff they, they got going on. And then Jim stays focused behind the wheel of a championship running race car here in Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous. Kathy standing out in front, just in the woolly bars there, and crew will get ready to slam the door shut. Send their driver to the starting line. Tommy Franklin remain low for the round number one. Jim Halsey. May it remain ultra fast here. Oh, Halsey's car, A to B, how about 366, zero, 207 miles an hour. And he will take on Derek Ford in round number two. We'll look at our matchups momentarily. Is uh, Buddy Perkinson and Freddie Scriber will go head to head. Perkinson's going to have a lane choice of that matchup. Marcus Butner on a bye run in round number two. And Tommy Franklin will have lane choice over Chris Reedy and his ATI Camaro. That will roll right into next category of Pro Boost, and they're in the water box. A WS Construction Pro Boost presented by Time Drive and P2 Contracting, our first pair out. Johnny Camp, left side of the racetrack. The Hells Bells, 1969 Camaro out of Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. NGK Spark Flicks, Tatman Electric. Camp Brothers Concrete, Pro Line, Pro Charger, and Fuel Tech on board this sleek black machine backing up here on the left side. Right side, Chuck Alls out of Mount Airy, Maryland. The Chuck Alls Racing, 68 Camaro for HFR Fabrication, Churchview Farms, Red Lion Oil, NGK, and YO Motorsports. And I tell you what, Derek. Out of a lot of the drivers that we've been watching through the years, I'm thoroughly impressed with Chuck Alsh's performance here at the start of the 2024 season. Yeah, I feel like a, a win is uh, in sight for Chuck Alsh. Team definitely deserves it. Supported the PDRA quite a bit, and this is uh, the best that I've seen Chuck's car run in Pro Boost trim. But he does have his hands full. His camp was the lower qualified car by a whole six thousandths of a second. Yep, Johnny did not uh, the first race of the season down there at Galat Motor Sports Park, but did not skip a beat. He's already been out more than once this year. And uh, his one run down the racetrack, 361 too. Yeah, not too shabby, right? Both bulbs on for Chuck Alsh over there on the right side. I'm sure that didn't Happen on purpose. It's Chuck normally. Percy stages. Oh, Chuck Alsh is way late. There's problems on the right hand side, and this one's going to be Johnny Camp. The Hell's Bells, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania Camaro, 364 2, making it look easy. 206 miles an hour. I'm not sure what happened to Chuck's car, but he went in with both pre stage and stage bulbs lit, and when the tree dropped, the reaction time was nowhere near stellar, unfortunately.
Your defending world champion comes up next on the left-hand side of the racetrack. That's Jason Harris out of Pittsburgh, North Carolina. The party time, 69 Camaro for Southern Diamond Company. SP Tools, who's your Pro Charger, Pro Line, and LET Racing Oils. He's your number seven qualifier, one of 361-1. And on the right-hand side, William Brown the third out of Chesapeake, Virginia. The Blue Magic 2.0, 69 Camaro, Pro Line, Eminem, LAT, Hoosier, and Wyo Motorsports. You know what I, I want to talk about is look at the qualifying numbers. So Brown, his car varied 13 thousandths of a second in two qualifying runs. And you're thinking, you know, 3.62 seconds, 208 miles an hour. That's really impressive. Jason Harris is like, eh, you know what? We varied one thou. We went 361-1. Came back, went 361-2. Absolutely just crazy to think about how consistent these race cars are in competing at the level that they do. Jason Harris made it to the final round at the season opener where he lost on a whole shot run. And again, another car that's making huge strides in their program over on the right-hand side. William Brown the third. They have really stepped up their game with the Blue Magic 2.0. Yeah, and you go out and you lay down that number that Brown did in qualifying, 362, and it gets you the bottom half of the field. That's pretty crazy in itself. Oh, Harris left side, Brown right there in. 007 to a double O eight should be a great drag race to the top end. And look at the upset. William Brown, your number 10 qualifier, takes down a reigning world champion, Jason Harris, in round number one of competition today. 361-3 to a losing 362-7. I did not see that one coming. It was anybody's race, but man, both drivers nearly identical at the starting line within 2,000 at the 60-foot mark, within... One foul at half track, and at the finish line stripe, William Brown's Camaro was out in front to lead the charge. We just found out that Jamie Miller helping tune on that William Brown machine. And what a big win that was for them in the opening round of competition here at the Mid-Atlantic Showdown. I mean, you called it, Derek, 007, 008 reaction times, and just side by side, they went. Well, I knew Jason was going to leave zero room for Brown in the starting line. And, I, and you know, you think back to Galat, Jason knew where he messed up. He said, it ain't going to happen today. Brown knew he had to get up on the wheel to have a shot at it. And when, that, when the tree dropped, man, one thou difference. That was fantastic to see. A good side-by-side -side drag race between those two drivers. So Randy Weatherford up next, left side of the racetrack out of Danville, Virginia, the WS Construction 2020 Camaro for ProLine, Pro Charger, Fuel Tech, and m, &M Transmissions. Your number six qualifier coming in with a 3.605. And Jeff Rudolph out of Brownsburg, Indiana, the Ghetto Slay 69 Camaro for ProLine, Pro Charger, Fuel Tech, m, m and Sailor Jerry. And, and Derek, we spoke on it all weekend about the troubles that Rudolph had, didn't get to test. Had that motor apart three or four times trying to figure it out, and he comes in number 11 at a 362-2. Yeah, Jeff Rudolph, he had to have a, a little nerve-wracking moment on Thursday when they didn't weren't able to test and tore the motor down three separate times. But when he came to the starting line in Q1 on Friday and that car went out and laid the number that it did down, which I believe was 363, all his nerves kind of had to just go away. They subsided, and uh, he was com comfortable right in the driver's seat and be able to focus on the task at hand. And then they come back out and went 362-2. And Randy Weatherford over there on the left-hand side of the racetrack for WS Construction, always a strong running car in the category. So a good first-round matchup between these two. Weatherford and Rudolph into the beams. Let's find out if another upset's going to happen here at Pro Boost. Advantage of the starting line goes to Weatherford. Half track, they're side by side, and Randy Weatherford by two thousandths of a second. Look at that. 362.9 beats out a 362.6. On a whole shot there, Randy Weatherford gets the job done. Fantastic side by side race out of those two drivers. And a matter of inches going to determine this. And Randy Weatherford will be back around for another round of competition in Pro Boost this evening. And that brings up Kenny Lang, left side of the racetrack. The Al Bills Racing 69 Camaro for NGK. VP Race Fuels and Miller Welders, your number 12 qualified machine out of 362.3. And Travis Harvey on the right-hand side, the Carolina Kid. 
Miles Truck Service, Proline Racing, Fuel Tech, Carolina Kid Motorsports, Holland Enterprises, 2017 Camaro. And Harvey did not have the outing that he was looking for down at Galat. Looking for a little redemption here. He comes in, you number five, qualified machine out of 360 with a one. Kenny Lang, number 12, 360-2-3. So, some stellar performances we have seen throughout round one so far. We need Extreme Pro Stock to the staging lanes, please. Extreme Pro Stock, this is your call to staging. Extreme, Extreme Pro Stock, go and make your way to the lanes. Preparing, please. Right now, Kenny Lang, Travis Harvey on the starting line, ready to go into battle. And the Al Billis Racing. Canada based Camaro take down the Carolina Kid, Travis Harvey, over there in the Atomizer Lane. Advantage by two thou goes to Kenny Lang. Top in and by one thousand of a second, it's gonna be Travis Harvey, your winner. 361, 9208. The speed beats out Kenny Lang at 362 to 207 72. Another jaw dropping drag race that we just witnessed right there. Kenny Lang, number 12 qualifier, shows up to get Travis Harvey a run for his money, and by one thousand of a second, he falls up short. Derek then makes the third double-O margin down at the stripe, watching it here on the Flow Racing replay. Where do you find pro-modified drag racing that is this close other than the PDRA? So we have two more pairs to go this round, and if things shape up <laughs> or finish off the round how they've been going, I will, I will be honestly be able to say out of Pro Boost and Pro Nitrous, this has been the greatest round of one I have, I have seen. Tommy Gray, left side of the racetrack. The Undertaker Corvette out of Baltimore, Maryland for Carter Site Service, American Heritage Excavating, ATI, and Berg Demolition. Your number 13 qualifier to 362.7. And your current world record holder on the right-hand side of the racetrack, Derek Ward out of Friendship, Maryland. The 68 Firebird out of Resolution Racing Services, G-Force Race Cars, and MSR Performance. He qualified in the number four spot with a 359.3. So Derek Ward came into Virginia Motorsports Park, sitting in the number three spot in the world point standings. Guy that is always looking for some marketing partners. Runs a small racing operation out of his garage in Friendship, Maryland. Has found something big here in 2024. They're set. Advantage goes to Tommy Gray. He's going to give Derek Ward a run for his money. And by three thousandths of a second, 361-1 to the 363-0 Tommy Gray at 206 miles an hour. He gave Derek Ward an absolute run all the way to the top of the racetrack there. The G-Force Racing Services. Pontiac Firebird at 361-208 is in the round number two. And put another check mark on a double-O margin down at the stripe, man. Jeez, here it is on the flow replay. 3 thou determined that one. Ward's car, very nice run. I think Tommy the, Gray right alongside of him. I think the biggest margin of victory this round of eliminations in Pro Boost has been a double-O eight, or double-O nine, rather. And Tommy Gray had 16 thou to work with at the starting line. Was first to the 60 foot mark, and by half track, that's when Derek Wood's car was making his power and drove on around for the win. Next up, Jason Lee and Kurt Stedding. Kurt on the right hand side. Got a Carnegie, Pennsylvania, the P2 contracting P2 Racing 69 Camaro for Wyo Motorsports, Tide Drive, and NGK Spark Plugs. 
He was your number three qualifier to 359.2. Jason Lee, left side of the racetrack. The Lard Machine out of Vernon, California for Coast Packing Company. The 2020 Camaro for PTP Racing, Lions Custom Motorsports, Haltech, Noonan. And as Kurt looks over across the racetrack, that's a very familiar car. He used to wear the P2 badging, and he used to be driven by King Tut, Todd Tuttero. And unfortunately, Todd Tuttero. Yeah, won the season opener down at Galat and didn't qualify here. here in eliminations today. And that was, a, you know, a tough way things fell last night with the rain that came in. And uh, due to time constraints, we were just not able to get a final qualifying session in for Pro Nitrous and Pro Boost. So Jason Lee, Kurt Stedding here on the starting line. This is second to final pair. Opening round of eliminations in this category. Sun's coming out now. Starting to heat up the racetrack a bit. Jason's in that top ball. Kurt Stedding's in first. They're set. Red light by one thousand of a second for Jason Lee in 3.604. 208 miles an hour for Kurt and the P2 contracting Camaro. They're on the right hand side. Look at the 60 foot number. 911 down low. 241 to half track and 360 at the finish line. Jason goes at 369, 202 the speed. He knew he had to push it. And uh, by one foul. Came up with a losing end. Steve King, left side of the racetrack out of Strasburg, Virginia. The 2022 Corvette, they call the Savage, owned by Gene Pilot for Jeff Miller Performance. Resolution Racing Services. G-Force Race Cars, MSR Performance, and Pilot Electric. He was your number 15 qualifier to 363.5. And Spencer Hyde out of Stratford, Ontario, Canada, on the right-hand side, the Jack in the Green Stock Machine. For Redline Oil, NGK, Hyde Construction, Noonan, Hellbilly Race Cars, and Bryson Wood Homes. He's your number two qualifier. Spencer won a 359.0 that landed him in the second qualified position. Out of the two rounds that we had yesterday. So we've seen a very even racetrack. When lights on the summit side, when lights in the atomizer lane, anything can happen. Well, underdogs have made upsets. So Spencer Hyde, he knows, can't take Steve King lightly. Good running race car, sets over there on the left-hand side of the racetrack, Spencer Hyde. We've seen what he's been able to do the past couple seasons. The Jack of the Greenstock Camaro. So advantage goes to Spencer. There's some driving out there, and it's going to be high to the other end. 359, he was hungry for that. First round, 209 miles per hour, Spencer, and Steve King's going to go 390 to 152. You've seen Spencer Hyde's car about half track sachet around, and uh, Steve King, he just had more problems. Go back and look at the Floor Racing Instant Replay. I'm not sure if King went out and, and chatted the tires at one point of the run or not. Yeah, he had been pretty consistent in qualifying in the 360 zone. Unfortunately for him, the gremlin struck here first round. Our next pair, final pair of the category, Preston Tanner, Melanie Salemi. Melanie Salemi on the right-hand side of the racetrack out of Buffalo, New York. The Eddie Whalen owned 2023 Camaro for G-Force race cars, Ollie installations. Liberty's Gears, Quick Drive, Ross, and NGK. She was your number one qualifier to 358 with a five. Preston Tanner, left side, out of Rensselaer, Indiana, the Sweetheart Corvette. For Talbert Manufacturing, AJ Winton Son, Strange Engineering, Manhattan Collision Center, and G Force Race Cars. Jeff Pierce doing the tune in for Preston Tanner. John and Jen Salimi on the right hand side.
Your attention to pits, please. Pro 632, this is your call to the staging lanes. Pro 632, we need you to the lanes for pairing, please. So Preston Tanner, Melanie Salemi. Let's find out who's moving on. Red light for Tanner by 3 thou. Salemi encounters some issues at the other end of the racetrack at 363, 3, 194. I believe she uh, might have popped a burst panel down there. Preston Tanner, 363, 8, exactly where he qualified to the thousand of a second. 206 miles an hour. And uh, Melanie will be moving on here. In round number one, the fact that Preston Tanner, by three thousandths of a second, went red. And look at that. Preston's car was actually ahead at 60 feet, if you're looking at the numbers, the incrementals. And Melanie was outrunning him by half track by four hundredths of a second. All right, they're going to do a quick drag on the racing surface. <laughs> I know, and, and Scotty Gore and I are set up here in the tower, and a lot of times we can mess things up and, and do some wild stuff, but looking at Preston Tanner's run, his speed and elapsed time to the thousand of a second was where he qualified at. Exactly. Yep. 20607, 20607. I'm not 363 sure. 360 38, 360-38. I'm not sure that you and I have ever said that. I, no, I don't think we in have. Our time here at PDRA, that is insane. That's why the uh, tractors will do a little work on the racing surface. Let's talk about our round number two matchups in Pro Boost. Melody Salibi will go head-to-head -head with Johnny Kim. Salibi will have a lane choice, 363-3 over 364 of Johnny. Eric Ward will have lane choice by eight thousandths of a second over Travis Harvey. Spencer. Tech. We drive the industry, going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere. Regulators, filters, fueling champions. Pro Street. And I think the brick is done. Unfortunate. Man, I tell you what, I can see the line of fluid, unfortunately, that trails behind Chris Cadado's Dodge Ram out there. And uh, that is... That's unfortunate for many reasons. <laughs> the fact that we were all looking forward to the uh, this this first round between Cadado and Winsley, and now the crowd favorite, the old Dodge Ram pickup, will not be able to make the call. 
Oh, he made the call. Well, he's not going to make the run, unfortunately. Yeah, make it back to the starting line, yeah. per se. And there's going to be a lengthy cleanup that follows this. So right now, Joel Winsley Jr. going to be on a competition single. I believe the wheel line had popped off of the weather guard windows, Dodge Ram. Chris Cadado during the burnout. And what a heartbreaker that is. You tow all the way from Westland, Michigan down here. You qualify great. And then, unfortunately, a parts failure on the burnout in your weekend. So he jumps the wall and watches on. Joel Winsley, Jr. Going to go on down to the top end. 403 with a two. Best run of the weekend for the mechanical heating and cooling Camaro. Joel Winsley, Jr., 193 miles per hour. So as you said, Derek, there will be some track cleanup here to get all the oil off the racing surface. This will be just a few minutes, hopefully. But it might be a great time to stop by the Hot Rod Grill, get yourself something good to eat, something cold to drink. Well, it might not. It's not. In, might. It's definitely a good time to stop by yeah, there. Yeah, it's, a good, it's yeah. always a good time. And get yourself an event T-shirt over at the PDRA Apparel Trailer, all things PDRA. Today's race is brought to you by Kaiser Compressors, the official air compressor of PDRA. Kaiser is a leader in superior compressed air systems for commercial facilities, manufacturing and industrial plants. For construction and demolition work, Kaiser offers mobile air diesel compressors. Find the best compressor solution for your race shop or business at us.kaiser.com forward slash PDRA. If you're pushing for big horsepower, then you're going to need a forged aluminum piston that can handle it. That's where Ross Racing Pistons come in. For nearly 40 years, Ross Racing Pistons has continually met the high performance needs of racers around the globe with superior products made in America and the highest level of customer service. It's easy to see why race teams like Galat Motorsports and Melanie Salemi turn to Ross Racing Pistons for their custom pistons and accessories. Visit them online at rosspistons.com or facebook.com slash rosspistons. WS Construction, located in Providence, North Carolina, specializes in pre-engineered metal building erection. They have more than 25 years of experience and have experience with buildings up to, but not limited to, 1 million square feet. WS Construction has jobs that are located all over the U.S. and take pride in efficiently providing safe and quality erection services to their customers. Satisfied customers include Microsoft, Jack Daniels, Airbus, Bullet, and Rockwool. WS Construction, the performance team. Visit wsconstruction.com for more. At Schweitzer Dynamics, we provide customers with innovative products manufactured here in the USA while using state-of-the-art CNC machining. Our nitrous kits will work on streetcars, drag cars, sand mud drags, drag boat racing, and land speed racing. Each part is designed for optimal flow and is subjected to stringent testing. The quality of our product and our customer's satisfaction is our primary focus. To learn more about how Schweitzer Dynamics holds multiple world records, including the world's fastest nitrous car, follow us on Facebook and check out our website at www.schweitzerdynamics.com or call us at 704-966-1210. Goodyear. Those who live up to their names make one for themselves. Find us at racegoodyear.com and follow us on Twitter at Goodyear Racing. Stroud Safety is making faster, safer. It's your job to make your car as fast and responsive as possible. It's Stroud's job to protect you during your run and slow you down when you've blown through the finish line. Stroud makes world-class parachutes, fire suits, seat belts, and much more right here in the good old USA. Stroud Safety is with you every step of the way, keeping a dangerous sport as safe as we can. For more information, visit stroudsafety.com. 
Brisk spark plugs are the best choice for all high performance and racing applications. Brisk silver electrode technology maximizes the spark energy and quality of the spark ignition. Silver is the best conductor of any metal. It conducts 276% more electricity and 177% more heat than iridium. With Brisk racing spark plugs, you get more torque, horsepower, and better throttle response. Parker Incorporated is a design-build firm that specializes in steel structures, custom equine facilities, and commercial projects to meet all of your needs. We offer design services that make your dreams a reality. Whether you have a streetcar or a 5,000-plus horsepower door slammer, FuelTech has the perfect solution for your project. FuelTech is changing the game and transforming a traditional EFI system into a complete vehicle control unit. Fuel injection, dashboard, data logger, boost control, nitrous control, traction control, wheelie control, staging control, and safety controls are just a few features you can take advantage of with a FuelTech system. Get ready to consolidate the electronics in your car and make the switch to FuelTech today. Learn more about what FuelTech has to offer by visiting their website at www.fueltech.net. All of Maxima's engine oils contain a double zinc formula. The first zinc activates at lower temperatures, protecting engines during startup. Once the engine warms up, the second zinc activates, again adding to performance and engine protection while in the heat of battle. To learn more about Maxima Racing Oils or find product for your performance racing needs, visit MaximaUSA.com. Nash Competition Engines has been in business building racing engines and delivering quality machine work for almost 40 years. Located in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, about one and a half hours from Buffalo, New York. Our fully tooled machine shop specializes in boosted, nitrous small block, big block, and import engines. We also handle most block cylinder head repairs and stock parts for all your racing needs. We're happy to support the PDRA and helping the pro street class grow. So please visit us so we can help you. Total Seal Piston Rings welcomes you to PDRA Drag Racing. Working side by side with top engine builders, Total Seal has developed the most comprehensive line of performance piston rings available. Our new M2 Tool steel top rings were designed to improve and protect extreme turbocharged, blower, and nitrous engines. And M2 piston rings are available in conventional gap style rings as well as our new gas ported designs. Total Seal makes more than gapless rings. We've also released our new 0 .9, 0.9, 2.0 millimeter steel rings, which offer significant increases in power and durability. Less friction means less wear. These advanced profile rings also come in our new gas ported design and at a price anyone can afford. The Total Seal diamond finish rings come as thin as 0.6 millimeter with oil ring tensions as low as two pounds for max effort, naturally aspirated in moderately boosted applications. Total Seal has also expanded its line of engine assembly tools to include two and five degree tapered ring compressors, leak down testers, and our new power ring filler, all made in house in Phoenix, Arizona. We also offer a complete line of Pennsylvania grade assembly lubes and break in oils. Total Seal has you covered from mild to wild, street to strip, NA to blown. Any engine, any size, any budget. Total Seal has a ring for it. Check out our website, www.totalseal.com, for more information. Pro Fabrication, the winningest header builder on the PDRA. Many champions in the past, like Ricky Smith, Brandon Snyder, Eric McKinney, Tommy Franklin, all use Pro Fabrication for all their header building and exhaust system needs. You'll find them in all motorsports out there. So make sure to check them out on the web at www.profabrication.com or see them in the pit area this weekend. Winning drivers rely on VP Racing Fuels to optimize performance. Now get the same benefit with VP Matitives, offering race fuel technology for your daily driver. Increase fuel mileage and restore power in your streetcar with VP's Fuel System Cleaner or give your race car a boost 
with VP's Octanium Unleaded, improving your fuel's octane by up to seven numbers and giving you the throttle response your performance car was built to deliver. That's VP Maditives, available at vpracingfuels.com. When you want proven performance, there's one brand that's been around since 1938, Edelbrock. Building the finest American-made performance products for the street and the track. Edelbrock's Total Power Package delivers dyno-proven parts for maximum results. Edelbrock has thousands of made-in-the-USA performance products for all makes and models. Visit edelbrock.com to get your free Edelbrock performance catalog and to check out the latest products we have for your ride. Redline Synthetic Oil has been protecting engines since 1979. Our formulas were born in the lab and have been tested on tracks around the globe. From 10,000 horsepower nitro burning engines to 50cc motorcycle engines, we have the lubricant and coolants you need. Our lineup of coolants, gear oils, greases, and motor oils have protected racers and championship quests worldwide. At Redline Synthetic Oil, we start only with PAO Ester Base Oil and engineer our lubricants and your protection from there. And that's not all. To be cool, you have to stay cool. And our lineup of coolant products includes Water Wetter and our family of super cool products designed for cars, trucks, and all forms of power sports machinery. We even offer our super cool protection with antifreeze mixed in for colder climates. Visit redlineoil.com to learn more and to find a dealer near you. Redline Oil, engineered for enthusiasts by enthusiasts. We design, pour, and race what we sell. Summit Racing Equipment is proud to be a contingency sponsor and the sponsor of the Summit Racing Equipment PDRA Pro Stars. Order online anytime at summitracing.com. You'll find millions of parts in stock from over 1,500 name brands. Parts for racing, street performance, trucks and off-roading, tools and more. Summit Racing delivers fast shipping, world-class customer service and expert tech advice. Download the Summit Racing app to shop anytime, anywhere. Winning takes work. Getting parts is easy. SummitRacing.com Hickory Enclosed Trailer Sales and Racing Performances Motor Coaches is a family-owned business. We are a leader in the industry offering a wide variety of quality enclosed trailers and motor coaches to suit every racer's needs. Check us out at www.hickoryenclosed.com. Delivering speed, power, and performance for over 40 years, AFCO Performance Group is proud to be partnered with the PDRA as co-sponsors of both the Pro Street and Super Street classes again in 2023. In drag racing, you only get one chance to get it right. When winning and losing is everything to your race team, think AFCO. SP Tools USA is a proud sponsor of PDRA. Our range of tools cover air tools, power tools, hand tools, specialty tools, garage equipment, and other associated products. For over 40 years, SP has been at the forefront of design and manufacturing. We would love to earn your business. SP Tools, manufactured for the professional. At Drag 965, our mission is to make the motorsports industry in MENA, better known as the Middle East and North African region, reach the level it deserves, while raising awareness on how to keep the roads safe for all. Drag 965 is also the official drag race coordinators for MENA when working with the FIA. In 2019, Drag 965 retains the title sponsor of the Pro Nitrous Motorcycle Class, as well as presenting class sponsor for Outlaw 10.5, and has a supporting role with many teams racing here in the PDRA. Thanks to Drag 965 for making the roads better worldwide. Winning drivers rely on VP Racing Fuels to optimize performance. Now get the same benefit with VP Maditives, offering race fuel technology for your daily driver. Increase fuel mileage and restore power in your street car with VP's fuel system cleaner. Or give your race car a boost with VP's Octanium Unleaded, 
improving your fuel's octane by up to seven numbers and giving you the throttle response your performance car was built to deliver. That's VP Maditives. Available at vpracingfuels.com. At Hoosier Racing Tire, it's our mission to fuel passion, pride, and success in the motorsports industry. Let us put you in the winner's circle with our advanced technology and tires designed to perform. Hoosier offers a vast selection of tires for all motorsports needs. So whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional driver, Hoosier has you covered. Also, check out our all-new apparel line at HoosierTire.com. Be the envy of all your friends on and off the track in your new Hoosier tee, hat, or hoodie. To find your nearest authorized Hoosier distributor, visit our website at HoosierTire.com. Hoosier Racing Tire. Tires designed for champions. PRP Racing Products is proud to be the title sponsor for the PDRA Junior Drag Racing Series. With many years of manufacturing experience creating some of the most unique racing products on the market, PRP can help put you in the winner's circle. Each product is in-house designed, manufactured, assembled, and shipped, all from their Philadelphia-based headquarters. PRP's 50-page catalog is busting at the seams full of USA-made products to suit any enthusiast or all-out racing team, covering anything from fuel accessories, cooling products, engine accessories, and chassis components. They have what you need. New for 2022 is a line of junior dragster components featuring wheels, steering wheels, fuel cells, and more. PRP Junior has you covered. Visit their online store at prpracingproducts.com and view all of their great products, tech advice, and latest news. PRP Racing Products is track-tested racer approved. Redline Oil, born in a lab and tested on tracks around the world. You can push it to the limit. We'll protect it. Visit redlineoil.com to find a dealer near you. Maxima Racing Oils offers engine oils, gear oils, suspension fluids, power steering fluids, coolants, brake fluids, and more. At every step, Maxima's focus is providing the best possible product. For example, Maxima's engine oils utilize a triple ester formula, with each ester serving a significant role to increase performance as well as protection for engine parts. When it comes to deciding on your choice for an engine builder, the choice is clear. Pat Musi Racing Engines. With two generations of the Musi family working in unison, Pat Musi Racing Engines has become a household term when it comes to nitrous or boosted, electronically fuel-injected drag racing power plants. From the all-sportsman categories to the quickest door slammers and dragsters in the universe, specializing in engines ranging in size from 565 to 903 cubic inches and bigger, Pat Musi and the talented craftsmen in the Mooresville, North Carolina suburb of Charlotte produce championship winning engines with the broadest torque curves, highest horsepower, and reliability that is second to none. Go to www.musiracing.com to get the facts straight. Proline Racing is a global top tier provider of high performance drag racing engines, parts, turnkey packages, and cutting edge EFI software and tuning capabilities. With a track record spanning over 15 years, we have tirelessly worked in the pits, the shop, and on the starting line to craft the ultimate winning. drive tech we drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward a versatile all-in-one solution we're here for you every step of the way and that's why you see fuel tech everywhere
welded. Pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Tommy Franklin, David Reese, Kurt Stenning, Mike Decker, Spencer Hyde, and Jay Cox. Tie Drive, the leading edge in converter drive technology for lockup and non lockup style torque converters. For race winning results and a name that you can trust, Tie Drive got you locked up. If you're looking for the ultimate one-stop shop for everything and anything to do with drag racing, look no further than our official online classifieds at RacingJunk.com. That's the world's largest online motorsports marketplace, RacingJunk.com, where you can connect with other racers to buy, sell, or trade all your racing junk. With over $275 million worth of product listed every day, you'll find what you're looking for and more. And best of all, it's free. It's free to join. And it's free to post your ads on RacingJunk.com. So get ready to start selling. At Classic Graphics, we're a one-stop shop for all your silk screening and embroidery needs. We've been a leader in the motorsports industry since the mid 80s, producing everything in house at our Southern California location. Our facility can print up to 1000 shirts an hour and our three large embroidery machines are capable of handling all of your apparel needs. So if you're in need of top quality silk screen t-shirts, whether it's in one color or eight colors, hats, golf shirts, or embroidered jackets, Give us a call or send us an email and we'll work with you to exceed your expectations. Thank you to our sponsor, Stroud Safety. Stroud Safety designs and manufactures the racing industry's most durable and dependable safety equipment. Stroud products are made in Kentucky and Oklahoma right here in the USA. If you want to use products that are high quality and made in the USA, reach for the ones with the big blue patch. For more information, visit StroudSafety.com. CompCams has the parts to make big horsepower on the strip and the street. Each part is built by the industry's largest team of engineers and backed by a knowledgeable technical support staff. Camshafts, lifters, rocker arms, valve springs, and a complete line of valve train components are available at copcams.com. Stroud employees take pride in manufacturing the world's best race safety equipment. Stroud sells products manufactured in Oklahoma and Kentucky. When we say made in the USA, we mean it. When you want quality, and experience reach for the belts with the big blue patch stroud safety making faster safer for more information visit stroudsafety.com rc components where you get top of the line wheels made by racers for racers from the street to the strip we have what you need to gain the competitive edge get yours and join team rc today rc components wheels with class it's thrilling to watch these racers shoot down the track at such amazing speeds, isn't it? But we can't forget that racing is dangerous. That's why most professional race car drivers depend on Stroud safety products to get them to the finish line safely. Whether it's the belt that secures them, the parachute that slows them down, the fire suppression system, or the window nets, Stroud Safety is here to keep drivers safe. For more information, visit StroudSafety.com. It's been over 18 years since Jerry Bickle Race Cars built their in-house designed 20,000 square foot facility in Moscow Mills, Missouri. Since then, Jerry and his talented staff of chassis fabrication specialists have built literally hundreds of incredibly detailed championship winning race cars. Not only that, within that 20,000 square foot facility stands a two-story parts department with enough chassis components and related racing products to build another couple hundred hot rods. Call Jerry Bickle Race Cars today. They are the one-stop chassis shop. Pack Racing Springs is the aftermarket and racing group of Peterson Spring, founded over 100 years ago. Pack Racing Springs, located in Southfield, Michigan, is an industry leader for valve train components. With one of the largest product portfolios in the industry, Pack Racing Springs can offer the best in-class current products and new game-changing products. With our dedicated engineering team, 
and fully accredited metallurgy lab. Additionally, we can test functionality and fatigue properties in our dynamics laboratory. Whatever your valve train application, we strive to bring confidence that our products meet and exceed your performance parameters. Pack Racing is proud to design, test, and manufacture our products in the USA. Please visit RacingSprings.com or call toll-free 866-799-9417. Pit Pro Custom Carts is proud to be the official pit vehicle of the PDRA. Pit Pro has been serving racers for 23 years all over the world. Pit Pro listens to its racing customers for what accessories they need, and we build what works for them. Pit Pro is grateful for all of our customers over the years and look forward to serving many more in the future. Please check us out on the web at pitprousa.com for all your pit vehicle needs. Looking for the best carbon fiber wheelie bars? Look no further than the official wheelie bar of PDRA. MVM by Galat Motorsports. MVM by Galat Motorsports manufactures their wheelie bars to the highest quality, making them the only proven wheelie bar on the market. Check out MVM by Galat Motorsports on Facebook or give them a call at 910-305-2207. Racing is a lot of fun, but it's also dangerous. Your family and friends depend on you using the highest quality race safety gear on the market. That's why you should always reach for Stroud. Stroud produces high quality, innovative race safety equipment. Don't just think of yourself. Think of the ones who love you. For more information, visit StroudSafety.com. Davis Technologies. For 25 years, we've been the leader in traction control, unparalleled tech support, multiple world records, and the never-ending journey of speed. Patented software, a simple interface, and proven results make us who we are, and always engineered and made in America. Imitated, but never duplicated. Davis Technologies, when only the best will do. ATI has been helping racers get to the winner's circle for over 60 years now. Our advanced engineering, precision in-house manufacturing, and real-world race experience can help you turn on the win light round after round. When you think about engine protection, consistency, or putting the power to the ground, think of ATI performance products, power glides, two or three speed 400s, T350s, or high horsepower 4L80s. We can make them better, lighter, faster, and stronger. From 400 to 4,000 horsepower, ATI has the parts for you. Don't forget the best quality, American-made parts. Build the best transmissions and converters. If you don't need a complete transmission, be sure to request the best internal parts you can get, and they come from ATI. ATI is family-owned, has a staff of 80 people who work out of a 100,000-square-foot facility with 36 CNC machines, and we do it all in Baltimore, Maryland. Whatever you need, ATI can help. Check out atiracing.com or give us a call at 800-ATI-3433. Performance is our passion, and we can make our passion your performance. Winning performance, whether at the strip or on the street, is a passion at Procharger. There are superchargers, then there's Procharger. From 400 to more than 4,000 horsepower, Procharger. Celebrating 30 years of leading the industry with unmatched performance, efficiency, and innovation. Unmatched in the number of national championships and major event wins, Procharger now has well over 200 national championships in the last 15 years. If you demand the ultimate in power adders, visit Procharger.com. Schween Motorsports and the rest of the racing teams would like to say thank you to Tommy and Judy Franklin and the rest of the PDRA team for providing us safe and amazing places to race. Thanks to all the sponsors of PDRA for helping make this season possible. We also want to thank Mark Smith Racing, Jerry Bickle Race Cars, M&M Transmission, Buck Racing Engines, and Schweitzer Dynamics for all their help and support. Attention top sportsman racers. Don't forget to run the Benninger, Schween, and Schmidt contingency stickers for free money for a win or runner-up at all PDRA events. PSI Superchargers. 
your home of mind-blowing performance since 1988. PSI is home of the original screw supercharger used on many of the front-running PDRA Pro Boost, top sportsmen, and top dragsters. Visit us today at PSISuperchargers.com. From Pro Boost to radical daily drivers, Car enthusiasts know where to look for those quality components that give you superior results. Mazir Enterprises offers the very best in cooling and starting system technology for the most demanding applications. For your next starter, water pump, or flex plate, look to Mazir on the web at mazir.com. Liberty's Gears is your elite manual transmission specialist. From street stock to pro mod, their in-house machine shop gives them the advantage to make sure their customers are getting the best quality products possible. Check them out on the web at www.libertiesgears.com or at 586-469-1140. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers racers broad packaged insurance policies that don't leave gaps in coverage. We offer affordable on and off track coverage for racers and starting in 2023, perfect run and best package programs along with our contingency program. You spend money on insurance to get to the track already. Now collect money when you win. Visit them online at lauricemotorsportsinsurance.com or scan the barcode on the banners here at the track. At Flying A Motorsports, we stock, consign, and design specialty trailers for motorsports competitors across the USA. Flying A offers motorhomes, toter homes, stacker trailers, semi-trailers, gooseneck and bumper pool car trailers with living quarters, toy haulers, and motorcycle trailers. We offer consignment programs, financing, and can build you a custom unit with all your needs and wants. Go to Flying A Motorsports at flyingamotorsports.com. Or call us at 800-222-4004. Stroud Safety is the industry leader in race safety products. They manufacture high-quality nylon seatbelts that are available in many colors. The industry's most dependable parachutes, ballistic-grade SFI-certified blankets, completely custom-fitted fire suits, and much more. And the best part is that it's made right here in the USA. For more information, visit StroudSafety.com. We'd like to give a special thanks to Casper Performance Edge and Victus Bats for sponsoring the number one qualifier awards for PDRA Pro Street. Casper Performance Edge is a specialty automotive shop specializing in street and strip performance. They're backing the cash for your great performance. And Victus Bats is supplying your custom bat trophy. Great job, drivers and crew. And thanks again to Casper Performance Edge and Victus Bats for sponsoring the PDRA Pro Street Number One Qualifier Award. Race winning reliability, no problem. Record setting technology, no problem. M&M Transmissions has what you need. They build everything custom from transmissions to torque converters. You could also get their latest and greatest shifter design that most of the current race cars have. Check them out on the web at www.mandmtransmission.com or find them on Facebook, M&M Transmission. Magnafuel Products. The leader in racing fuel systems provides the highest quality CNC machined fuel pumps and pressure regulators on the market today. All MagnaFuel products are proudly built and assembled within the United States. MagnaFuel leads the industry with their ProStar, QuickStar, and ProTuner series products. Street cars to all out race cars or anything in between, MagnaFuel has a system to meet your every need. MagnaFuel is always expanding our extensive line of products, so check out our new products online. MagnaFuel products have been fueling champions for over 20 years. Visit us on the web at magnafuel.com and like us on Facebook. Keep your fuel moving forward with MagnaFuel. Maximal Racing Oils was born out of a desire to outperform others on the track 
And it's that dedication to provide a quality product prepared to stand up to the high-stress environment of competition that makes it a top choice for racers. Maxima Racing Oils was founded in 1979. From its very beginning, Maxima has been focused on providing top-notch products for racers. Dick Lachine and Roland Reed founded the company after developing an improved lubricant for the motocross endeavors of Dick's son, Ron Lachine. Since then, Maxima has expanded its offerings to include a wide variety of lubricants, coolants, and more for power, sport, and performance automotive needs. Maxima first commercialized its automotive offerings in 2012. If you're serious about being in the winner circle, then you have to be serious about Cali's performance products. Cali's crankshafts, camshafts, and connecting rods have grown to be the industry leader for innovative product design. Now with our sister company, Energy Manufacturing, machining billet aluminum, cast aluminum, and cast iron blocks, we have the complete bottom end for your next engine. Be sure and visit Cali's online at www.cali's.com or energy at www.energymanufacturing.com. Cool Shirt Systems is the world's premier driver cooling system, cooling over 50,000 drivers to date. Whether it's the ultra portable and convenient drag pack system or the long lasting club system, Cool Shirt has a cooling system to keep you cool in the lanes. Check out their webpage at www.coolshirt.com to find a product that best suits your needs. Looking for in-car radio services? Look no further than RH Two-Way. Gino on the property at every PDRA event will be here to assist you with your radio needs. Check them out online at www.rh2way.com or find them on Facebook at RH2 World Headquarters and like their page today. Welcome to Corbin's RV. We're a small locally owned business here to serve all your automotive and motorhome needs in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Our facility is a full service automotive truck and RV service garage. We have a variety of parts and supplies available here on site. So please come by our pit for your RV repair needs. Braille Battery, the global leader in race grade lithium batteries. USA made in sunny Florida since 2009. Braille's 16 volt lithium battery is only eight pounds and puts out over 2,300 cranking amps. It's the easiest way to drop weight and gain safe, reliable, and long lasting power. Braille battery. Who do top PDRA racers and engine builders depend on for their hose and fitting needs? Brown and Miller Racing Solutions. Brown & Miller offers the lightest, most flexible products available on the market today. Visit their website at www.bmrs.net today. At Mickey Thompson, we never stop innovating. Stop by today and see all the new drag racing tires that we have to offer, like the insanely quick Pro Bracket Radial to the Max Traction ET Drag. When Mickey Thompson decides to put this drag tire technology into a high-performing tire for the street, you know it's going to be outstanding. If you need the ultimate street-legal drag performance for new and classic American muscle, the ET Street lineup has you covered with the ET Street SS and ET Street R. We call it traction satisfaction. Check out all the Mickey Thompson tires for the street and the drag strip at MickeyThompsonTires.com. Stand on the gas with Mickey Thompson. Located in Richmond, Virginia, AED Performance and Competition Fuel Systems has been manufacturers of the finest hand-built custom carburetors for over 30 years. As Holly's number one modifier, the best custom carb builder, AED has the ability to build anything from a 352 barrel all the way to the full two billet 2.800 Dominator. With AED's knowledge of complete car and engine combinations, combined with outstanding customer service and racer support, AED competition will give you the winning edge in drag racing, dirt track, marine, circle track, off-road, truck pulling, sand and mud drags, and everything in between. From a 300 cubic inch small block to a 959 cubic inch billet monster, AED Competition Fuel Systems has you covered. 
Give them a call at 804-271-9107 or visit them on the web at www.aedperformance.com. Remember, your car is custom built. Your carburetor should be too. For 2021, Jessel has turned its focus on sportsman racers with replacement sportsman steel rockers providing an affordable upgrade for its pro aluminum rockers. They're designed to be a direct replacement for Jessel's pro aluminum bodies and will bolt to existing stands. Each rocker body is manufactured from a premium heat treated steel alloy with a black oxide coating providing years of dependable service. These rockers are the perfect fit for boosted or nitrous motors, which build up extreme cylinder pressures. For the ultimate and affordable steel rockers, give Jessel a call today. Jessel's new Sportsman Roller Lifters feature Jessel's proprietary bronze bushings, the only bushing lifter available with Jessel's unparalleled precision and reliability. Starting with an 8620 heat-treated and polished lifter body, these tie bar style roller lifters have a pressurized oiling circuit and share many of the components found in Jessel's Pro Series tie bars. Available for all popular blocks, the Jessel Sportsman roller lifters are perfect for all but the most extreme engine packages. Learn more at Jessel.com. Today's race is brought to you by Kaiser Compressors, the official air compressor of PDRA.
left in the first 60 feet of the race course. Bill Riddle, Tommy Morrow. Morrow on the right hand side, the El Toro 92 Camaro out of New Egypt, New Jersey. Extreme racing engines, chance racing converters. Atomizer, Mincer, Motec, and Eminem Transmissions, 1992 Camaro. And Bill Riddle, left-hand side, your reigning world champion in the category. The Corgan Race Fuels, 89 Camaro for B&L Services. Mickey Thompson, Motorsports Unlimited, SSI, and Redline. Well, obviously, you've seen the cleanup that took place on the starting line. Out to about 90 or so down the racetrack. Bill Riddle, the higher qualified car, had a lane choice. Still decided to stay, uh, stay in that left lane. So the Camaro take on Tommy Morrow's 92 model. Stay on the right side. Watch Bill Riddle, your reigning world champ. Rolls it at Virginia. Getting eighth in the point standings here in the category of Pro Street. Tomorrow, going to be last to stage. Back on the way we go. Riddle's car shakes the tire right at the head, and it's going to be 439. 164 miles an hour for Tommy, 641 for Bill. Tough break for Bill Riddle, the Corgan Racing Fuel Team. Here on round number one at Minster Motorsports Pro Street. Ooh, I like this matchup right here, Derek. Richard Reagan and Ron Green. Ron Green came out with number one qualifier, season opener. Struggled here yeah. this weekend. Absolutely. And I say struggled, went a 4-10 with a 9, but that only gave him the 11th qualified position. The Green Brothers Racing Quick Fuel to Soma. Pro Charge 2000 Firebird, they call the game changer. And Richard Reagan over here on the left-hand side of the racetrack. He's been as quick as a 396 in that Rutledge, Tennessee-based 1990 Mustang. Yeah, the weather conditions today are getting back to uh, what they were like on Thursday. A lot of sun out of the racetrack, zero cloud cover, higher track temperatures than what we've seen yesterday and the beginning of to today. So it should be uh, a little interesting. Reagan, green, matching up here. Figure out who's going to go into round number two. These guys, bottom half of the ladder. Stage and ready, Richard Reagan. And right on down the summit side goes Reagan. The wind light go Ron Green. How about 395? 194 miles an hour, and Ron Green makes his best run of the weekend here in the opening round of competition. 406 of 190, the speed for the Rutledge, Tennessee Ford of Richard Regan. But Ron Green is moving on in a big way. Two tenths of a second. Ron Green laying down his quickest run there. Bill Devine, left side of the racetrack out of Muskegon, Michigan. Bullseye Power 2001 Mustang for Fuel Tech, Mickey Thompson and Fire Corps. A 413 and a 414 in qualifying. Very consistent machine lining up here on the left hand side. And Brian Weddle on the right hand side. 
Out of Frederick, Maryland, the 68 Camaro for Extreme Race Engines. Pro Torque and 1325. He's your number five qualifier. 396 put him in that spot. He also went a 399. Yeah, the 187 graphics Camaro out of Maryland for Brian Weddle. Yeah, the atomizer side. Beautiful machine that is. We just seen Ryan Dringo 395 in the right lane. Ryan Reynolds been 396 in qualifying at 399, so that's a confidence builder. Bill Devine, on the other hand, uh, you like a scene out of the bullseye power fort here at Virginia. Get handle that race car. Starting to come around. And they're looking for wind lights. Vines into the top ball first. Here comes Weddle. Popping the bang. And, and Bill Devine doesn't go anywhere. It's going to be 40594 miles an hour for Brian Weddle with ease into round number two. Here in Pro Street. Our next pair, Chris Hardy, Scott Kincaid. Kincaid on the left side of the racetrack out of Thornhill, Tennessee. The Clinch Mountain Transport 69 Camaro. Number four qualifier. Went two 396s. Only varied five thousandths in his two qualifying efforts. And Chris Hardy on the right-hand side. The Savage 2001 Camaro. For Pondy's performance. Hardy Enterprises, number 13 qualifier. His best effort, a 435.5. Right now, the Savage, Chris Hardy. And the Scott Kincaid, silver first-gen Camaro. Matchup we got here as Scott is trying to keep his undefeated streak alive in Mincer Motorsports Pro Street competition. Kincaid's been sitting back there at the starting line a while. Is that Chris Hardy? Now, coming up to the three stage beams. If you're a Camaro fan, this is the pair to watch. Good looking race cars here on the starting line. Staged and ready. The advantage of the start goes to Hardy. Finish line, it's going to be Scott Kincaid, another win light. It's going to be 4.017, 193 miles an hour. Chris is going to go 434, 177, exactly where he qualified at. So Scott Kincaid will be back for another round here this evening. Andy Lambert, Dan Norris up next. Lambert on the left-hand side of the racetrack at Amosville, Virginia. The Precision Turbo 69 Camaro for Firecore Wires. Dan Norris on the right-hand side out of Brighton, Michigan. 
Southeast Performance 22 Mustang. Spencer Motorsports, Noonan Race Engineering, Fuel Tech, M&M, PSI, SSI. Engine number three qualifier, one of three, 95.9. Lambert's car has shown it has the horsepower. Wheels up, runs. Unfortunately, he's got to dial that thing in to keep it straight. Norris has shown a little bit more consistency in the going straight department with a 395 and a 402. Yeah, I feel like Brandy Lambert, if you can't get that car hooked up and make a clean run, it's going to be right there for Dan Norris. Norris this car has been you know, rather flawless. You look at some of the marketing partners Dan Norris has and who has put that car together. And... Uh, Front runners of the category. Randy Lambert's Precision Turbo, fire four wires. Chevy there out of Virginia. Immaculate. He's over there for Lambert on the left side. Oh, Randy Lambert's on a run. How about that? Better slide stripe. It's 406 to the 399. Dan Norris is going to be there first at 188 miles an hour. A clean run for Randy Lambert in round at number one of competition. He gave it all he had. Dan Norris was first off the starting line, first to the finish line, and that Mustang out of Pondy's performance. We'll move it on. Pair Mustangs, Jerry Morgano on the right-hand side, the Copperhead Machine out of Apollo Beach, Florida. 02 Mustang, Ameriprise Financial, the Soma Race Engines, Bullseye Turbo, Mincer Motorsports. Tim Essick, left side out of Port Tobacco, Maryland. And the Brown Sugar 2018 Mustang, Pro Charger, Essick Motorsports. Tim was your number two qualifier to 394.4, Morgano. A 4.82.5 put him in a number 15 qualified position. Your attention, please. Super Street, you've been called to the staging lanes again. Super Street, this is another call for you. Super Street, come on down. The higher qualified car, Tim Essick. Takes the left hand side of the track here gets Jerry Morgano's Copperhead Mustang. Morgano's got a car that will run close to Essex. Goes A to B and gets it hooked up. Oh, Essex doing some driving out there, gets the car to recover, and it's going to be a 404 lap time, 186 miles an hour for the Brown Sugar entry. Jerry. Some issues once again in round number one. It's going to be 587 and only 83 miles an hour. And Morgano actually comes to a stop there right by the scoreboard. So we'll have to send the safety quad after him.
All right. Quad picks up Morgano's machine, pushes it on down to safety. And our next pair are fired up, headed to the burnout box. Mario Karenji here on the left-hand side. Out of Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. KW Toronto 68 Camaro and Ethan Stedding. At Carnegie, Pennsylvania, the College Fund 2024 Camaro for P2 Racing. Time dry. I remember last night when she came up and was not able to make the run, the shoots came out and uh, that was their attempt at qualifying. On paper. Mario Ferengi for the 32 second elapsed time. Ethan Setting, top dog here. And Minster Motorsports Pro Street, presented by AFCO. 16 year old, Will in the P2 contracting, Chevy there. To number one, outside at 393. teams here in Pro Street and have lane choice. They have preferred the left lane and preferred the right lane. Think back to Pro Nitrous. Most everybody with lane choice shows the summit side. In Pro Boost, it was the atomizer lane. A mixture of both here in Pro Street. Pair is set to go. And Ethan Settings walking away to the top of the racetrack, 4.003, 193 miles an hour, 445, 165 for Karinji. So Ethan Setting as your number one qualifier picks up a round win here at Virginia today. We're going to make the jump to Liberty's Gears Extreme Pro Stock presented by AED Competition. Chris Powers, Dylan Voss going to lead it off. Voss on the left side of the racetrack out of West Palm Beach, Florida. The Bat Banana 2005 Cavalier for Liqua Molly. Voss Racing Engines and Voss Wheelie Bar. Lead down a 406 with an 8 in qualifying. And Chris Powers on the right hand side out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. The Sunny's Racing Engines 2021 Camaro. ATI Performance Products, CR Powers HVAC. Chuck Samuels, the crew chief on that family team on the right hand side. He went a 4065 in qualifying. Yeah, this is a matchup that I would like to watch. Dylan looked good last time in qualifying. That final session is uh, not every team picked up, and he found a big improvement. From 411 to 406, 3,000 separates them on paper. The inside, inside shot of Chris Powers that Jerry Haas built Camaro. Used that just a few seasons ago. For ATI Performance Products, Sunny's World Class Racing Engines. This owner out of Carlisle comes to the starting line on the right side. Dylan Boss, 32 years old, trip from Florida. See who has the well, clutch set up right. That's a big factor here in Liberty Gears Extreme Pro Stock. They run through the gears, half track, Powers is ahead, and Chris Powers is going to be your winner at 4.068, 177 the speed. Dylan's going to be 4.11, 176. And they were 1,000 different in reaction times. 46th out, the finish line, Stripe, Chris Powers is your winner. Look at the consistency there for Powers, Derek. 4.068, 4.065, and a 4.075. That car... Has made some great laps here at VMP this weekend. Matt Giagrande and Stephen Boone. 
Boone made it all the way to the final round at our season opener. He'll be on the right-hand side at a Weaverville, North Carolina, the Boone Motorsports 07 Cobalt for Maxima Racing Oil, AED Competition Fuel Systems, line-to-line -line coatings, white safety, and a Barry Allen competition, or Allen competition engines. Matt Grande, left side of the racetrack, the Love Machine. 2019 Camaro owned by Enoch Love. Ram clutches, Kazi power plant for him. AED carburetors, Linko racing transmission, Stroud safety, and Maxima oil on board. So both of these drivers and teams have seen success here in 2024. His performs are ready. Steve Boone, final round appearance. Matt Giagrande has been in the winner's circle in Florida. And now they meet here in round number one. Stop number two of the Red Line Oil PDRA Drag Racing Series here at Extreme Pro Stock. Thirteen thousandths of a second separated Matt G and Stephen Boone in qualifying, and that was good enough for three positions. They roll them into the pre-stage beams. Cobalt right side, Camaro left side. Here we go. Wow, 005 reaction time, and Steve Boone starting to have some issues maybe at the other end of the racetrack. 411, 164. He's down on speed. Matt Giagrande was charging hard, but by 31 thou, he comes up short. 412 at 177. He just could not run. Steve Boone down and get around for the win. And for Steve's fake, it was darn glad that he left the starting line and when he did. Is there at the 660 foot mark. Well, before that, you've seen some white smoke and that car was starting to fade away. That's going to bring up our next pair, Jordan Insulin, left side of the racetrack out of Lakeland, Florida. The 08 Mustang for Dark Horse Coffee Company, Golden Gate Hotel and Casino, Circa Las Vegas, AD Competition, Mincer Motorsports. And Dave Hughes on the right-hand side, the HRE Manifold's 2018 Camaro out of Nazareth, Pennsylvania. I was looking over numbers, and Boone was down almost 14 mile an hour. We'll go back to the uh, pits and start tearing that motor apart, finding out what mechanically went wrong. Trying to get back for round number two. Right now, Jordan Hensel and Dave Hughes all focus is on the starting line. Jordan, I'm sure he's going to try to get the reaction time advantage here. A little edge over Team HRE, Anamizer Lane. Young Gun, the veteran. Hughes is set. Final movement of the beams is by Jordan Insulin. And Kyle Lang runs out in front. Frantically flips the switch for Dave Hughes. And Hughes goes 442 at 138. And they were just moments away from getting the green light. And Kyle Lang, one of our official PDRA starters, said that there was liquid underneath of Jordan Insulin's Mustang. And that is why he shut him off at the very last moment. You can see they've got mops down there. They had the uh, blower, whatever it was, right in the center of the racetrack. Under Jordan's Dark Horse Coffee Company, Ford, that cost him the run. 
Dave Hughes was obviously thrown off by what was transpiring at the very last minute. And over a one second reaction time and just motored on down. 442, 138, well off the pace of where he qualified at. Now back side-by-side -side action. It is going to be the matchup between Daryl Stewart and Jeremy Huffman. Pronounce are complete. Daryl Stewart way out there. On the racetrack, the Jupiter Florida Camaro. The throw it in reverse and come back to the starting line. Summit side. Jeremy Huffman missed race number one with us. Here at the Red Line Oil Pity Red Drag Racing Series. And Glad to see him back in the house and behind the wheel. Top of North Carolina, Cobalt, a 41-year-old. 3D performance where he gets the horsepower. Watching on Flow Racing. Shot of both of those cars. Daryl Stewart kind of dabbled, well, he dabbled in uh, Pro Stock last year briefly. Went back to Pro 632 and has now made the commitment here in Liberty Gears Extreme Pro Stock. Doing very well. Murphy and that team, things figured out. Hyperactive performance solutions. Bow tie there. 200s difference in qualifying. And that's the thing. 200s with seven positions. tight field for the Gears Extreme Pro Stock. Just like everyone else, this guy's only got two qualifying sessions. They shortened things yesterday. So Stewart's in. He goes in deep. Huffman set. Totally throws Daryl Stewart off, and he is all crossed up on the starting line. And Jeremy's going to rock it on down for the win at 4.111. 175 miles an hour. Jeremy Huffman will actually have a lane choice over Dave Hughes next round. They face off. Final pair of the round. Two more pairs to go. Getting close. Just kidding. Yeah. If everybody's paying attention, right? That's right. Elijah Morton on the right hand side of Swansboro, North Carolina, the Double Trouble 2019 Mustang. Horizons East Carolina Utilities, Carolina Marine Works. Number two qualifier. What a turnaround from our season opener down at Goliath. Elijah busted off a 405 with a two to put him in the number two qualified position. And Doug Cottrell left side. He's had quite the weekend here at a Warsaw, Indiana, the 08 Cobalt. Went up in flames. Thursday during testing. Went back to the pit area, fixed everything up. Came out, went a 4.15.4. Then on the very last qualifier yesterday, came out and had some sort of mechanical issue and couldn't get the car to fire up and go down the racetrack. So Charles had quite a wild weekend. Gonna try to take down a heavy hitter in Elijah Morton. Well, we've seen upsets happen in our previous professional categories in round one. Elijah. Can't take Doug Kittrell lightly. We've seen that car, the left hand side of the racetrack, run down into the 410 range, which puts him within striking distance 
of Elijah Morton. See if he can do it here. Pitchfield's out of the gate. Car moves towards the wall down low, but he brings it back. And Elijah Morton. 4.052, 178 miles an hour, exactly where he qualified at, 4.15.5.170. Doug Kittrell repeats numbers as well, but he was 100 when the tree dropped, and that didn't help him out any. So Elijah Morton, as your number two qualifier, moves on in his Mustang. Lester Cooper comes up next, left side of the racetrack. At Lorenberg, North Carolina, the 09 Mustang. And Johnny Placino, your number one qualifier, went a 4046 to earn that position. He's out of Smithtown, New York. Feather like batteries, Kelling equipment, Maxima Racing Oils, Ram clutches, the Kazi powered 2013 Mustang out of Placino Racing. So when Lester Cooper rolled through the water box to do his burnout, it was non-existent, fortunately. So problems early on into the run here for Lester before they even reach, reach the restage beam. So I'm sure Johnny and his team has noticed that. Still got a job to do at hand and put the car in the beams and go A to B as your number one qualifier. Placino, the points leader in the category. This is a crucial matchup. And why I say that is whoever wins here will take on Chris Powers in round number two. If you win the matchup, round number two, you have a bye run to the final round. A very, very Big run here, and they are already, I believe, pushing Lester Cooper off. So uh, he is done. Johnny Placino, competition single. Now it's all about who's going to get lane choice between Placino and Powers. First went 4068. Johnny's 091, 990 down low, and 4070, 177, 91. So by two thousandths of a second, Chris Powers is going to have lane choice over your number one qualifier, points leader, or world champ, Johnny the Kid. And they come to the starting line in round number two. We look at ma other matchups of Liberty Gears Extreme Pro Stock. Elijah Morton will have lane choice over Stephen Boone. Jeremy Huffman has lane choice over Dave Hughes. Now we roll right into our Pro 632 category. Yeah, Peter A. Pro 632 pulling through the water box. Andy House and Bobby Bladen, two of the prettiest cars in the category. Bladen on the right-hand side out of Gambrels, Maryland. The MB Payton 67 Chevy 2. Custom performance coating, East Coast collisions, and all the burnout for Bobby Bladen over there on the right side. MSR suspension, Billy Albert providing the horsepower underneath the hood. That's a beautiful Chevy 2. Andy House left side. Had it done, North Carolina. Old Red, the 69 Camaro, owned by Mead Baldwin. Southern Diamond Tool Company, SP Tools, and Hoosier Tire. Andy House busted onto the scene at Galat. Took home the 660, man, at the end of the day. So a tough customer lines up alongside a Bobby Bladen Chevy 2.
So an important round for Andy House. Southern Diamond Company and SP Tools Camaro. Got to keep that team alive. They're in competition. Bobby Bladen we touched on last night. Beautiful that race car really is for MB Paving. Get the trip down for Maryland. First pair in Pro 632 is out of the gate. They want some drive it out there and the finish line stripe. Give it to Bobby Bladen. Ladies and gentlemen, the margin of victory, one thousand of a second. It was on a whole shot. Quicker but losing. Andy House, 424-8167. He was 048. Going by the tree. Bobby had his hands full, but did his job as the driver. 034 and 426 at 168. Wow. One thou margin of victory there. Yeah, your points lead are out of here in round number one. This is a pretty wide open category so far this season with all the entries we've had and the performance gains a lot of these teams have made over the winter time. Watching on the flow replay, Bobby goes out and makes a wicked move about mid-track. And you can see the tire mark where he was tracking out to the right side and it still was not enough to uh, have the win go House's way. Jeff Melnick, your reigning world champion, lines up on the left-hand side of the racetrack out of Hubbard, Ohio, the Greenbrier Excavating 2020 Camaro. Barry Allen race engine, PTP racing, mixed Thompson tires, and exotic fab. And Doug Nickel on the right-hand side, the ground control property, 68 Camaro. Pat Musi horsepower for Nickel on the right side. Both teams look across the racetrack at each other. Good shot. Doug Nickel and Jeff Melnick square it off right here. These two race cars have done a lot of winning in this category. 632. Melnick behind at the starting line by 7 thou. Finish line stripe. It's going to be Doug Nickel, your winner. 420, 166 beats a 426 at 166 as well. Jeff Melnick. It was one flat to the 60, 280 to the half track. And by that time, Doug Nickel, well, he was seven hundredths of a second ahead at half track. Good run. And Nickel's moving on. Jason Ventura next up right side of the racetrack, the Gladiator X, 1970 Camaro out of Pompano Beach, Florida for AMS Oil Synthetics, Brand X High Performance, and Kent Waters Original was supposed to face off against Patrick Patterson. Patterson not making the call. Well, we just seen Doug Nickel go 420. Jason, that's where he qualified at. 420 with a four, 420 with a six. Might go to the teens here and make his best run of the weekend. Two. Jason's car, 423, no improvement. I was looking at the numbers, the 60 foot and 330, and that just was not going to happen. 423, 166. So Ventura, really all that matters. Moving on to the next round to either face. Matchup between Chevy Floyd and Gary Hood.
Gary Hood next up on the left-hand side of the racetrack out of Severn, Maryland. The Gary Hood Racing 63 Split Window Corvette in the feel-good story of the weekend here on the right-hand side. A kid just absolutely ecstatic to be behind the wheel of this black Chevrolet Camaro, Chevy Floyd. This whole deal came together this week. First time he ever sat in a car, or this car was Tuesday night. Jack Gaddy gave Chevy the opportunity to get behind the wheel of this PDRA Pro 632 machine. They poured him a seat on Tuesday night. First weekend ever, Chevy's driving a nitrous fed machine. He's like, man, there's so much more to do in these nitrous cars than my right. own Corvette. He, normally, we see him campaigning a three-second top sportsman car, 63 Corvette with a big blower sticking out of it. Chevy had an on-track incident that was nothing of his fault at Farmington Dragway. So the car's at the chassis shop currently, and Jack Getty said, hey, come drive my 632 car. Yeah, if the wind light falls on the right side, I would love to be down at the top of the racetrack to watch Chevy Floyd's reaction when he comes off. Kid's going to go... Absolutely ecstatic. Gary Hood, last the stage, the split window Corvette. 71 to a 77 at half track. Chevy Floyd starts to pull ahead, and there's a wind light. Chevy Floyd, 424.6, 164 miles an hour to the 441.57 charge for Gary Hood. And Chevy Floyd gets his first career round win here in Pro 632 at Virginia Motor Sports Park. Next up on the right-hand side, that's Jamie Thompson out of Pittsburgh, North Carolina. The Rodzilla Meet Baldwin-owned 69 Camaro for j, &J Fabrication. Jerry Bickle, Hoosier. Pat Musi underneath the hood scoop. Eminem Transmissions, Braille Battery on board that machine. And he was supposed to face off against Hank Hughes. Hank had a under-the-hood fire after crossing the finish line. It looked pretty extensive when, yeah. when, when you see what they had to do with our, our safety teams down there. and. They uh, ended up putting some fire aid to get it out, and so uh, too much to get fixed and get back into round number one today, fortunately. Jamie will take on Doug Nickel. And round number two, he takes the tree here. In lane choice, got to go quicker than 420 with a seven. Thompson's 065, and at the other end of the racetrack, 422 at 167. So that is not going to be good enough. To get a lane choice over Doug Nickel. Lexi Tanner up next on the left-hand side of the racetrack at Rensler, Indiana, the Talbert Manufacturing Manhattan Collision 2018 Camaro. And Walt Lanigan behind the wheel of Chris Holdorf's 2010 GTO for CNC Pumping Service. Black Flag Motorsports, your number two qualifier to 4.17.4. I remember that run last night of Walter Lanigan laid down. Kind of shocked everyone. 4.17. That was a monster run. And I'm pretty certain, Derek, that Jamie Miller's helping out on that machine over there. So that's definitely got them going in the right direction. Absolutely. They uh, they were taking a shot at the number one qualifying spot. And Lexi Tanner, you, know, you think back to just two weeks ago, and you know they qualified decent, made okay runs, and they roll in here to Virginia, and, and they have struggled, not only uh, in testing on Thursday, but unfortunately in qualifying. And they've only been 765. Uh, so something has fighting from uh, getting that car run where it normally is. Got some great minds over there. I'll be looking over everything and hopefully for Lexi, things can start to turn around and go her way in round number one. When you look across the racetrack and see Walter Lanigan 
and know that they are a top tier team and give it all you got. Tanner going to be first off the starting line, and they make their best run of the weekend here in round one of Pro 632, but it's not enough to get around Water Lanigan. 4.18.5, 174 miles an hour to the 4.24.173 charge at Alexi Tanner. Water Lanigan will have a buy run in round number two. Your number one qualifier here this weekend. The Kaiser Compressors Mid-Atlantic Showdown presented by Classic Graphics. In the PDRA Pro 632 category, Amber Franklin. Out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, the OG Jungle Rat 69 Camaro for Redline, Franklin Electric, Smartcom Hoosier, and Pat Musi. You know, last night of qualifying, and Amber went out, it was 417, and, you know, got that top spot, and... Then she finishes the evening at 4.13.3. We thought seeing Walter Lanigan you know, go 4.18 was, or uh, 4.17, excuse me, was big. And she picks up four hundredths of a second, which is huge. Three hundredths off the national record. Big run last night for Amber. The buy run here on round number one of competition. Today, you got to go quicker than 426 to have lane choice over Bobby Bladen. That is who Amber is going to face. Amber's going to be 51 going by the tree and 420, 169. They put a tune up that go A to B and have no issues whatsoever. Back to down a little bit. Nothing's wrong with that. So let's look at our, let's look at our round number two matchups in Pro 632. It'll be Amber Franklin with lane choice over Bobby Bladen. Chevy Floyd lost lane choice by one hundredth of a second to Jason Ventura. Walter Lanigan will have the bye run. And then it's going to be Jamie Thompson. Taking on Doug Nickel. Doug Nickel having lane choice in that matchup. So a quick broom and groom of the racing surface, and we'll bring out our tiny, tiny, tiny tired monsters at AFCO Racing Super Street, presented by Mincer Motorsports. Elite Top Dragster, we need you. Elite Top Dragster, we need you to the staging lanes, please. Elite Top Dragsters, we need you. All top sportsman drivers, we need you to the front of the staging lanes. Top drive tech we drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward a versatile all-in-one solution we're here for you every step of the way and that's why you see fuel tech everywhere
welded. Pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Lamas out first and then goes up in smoke but gets the win light. 471.7 right where he qualified. Connor McGee only goes a 492, a 122. Slows down about two tenths from his qualifying effort. Put a drag on the racing surface. It looks like there's a fine mist. You see Jimmy running for the flat drag.
All right, racetracks cleared up and ready to go. Matt Shallow and Brad Cox will bring their machines to life and start to pull through the water box. Shallow, left side of the racetrack out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Snowman 2000 Camaro for ATI transmission. 1320 Fab, bootleg tunes, AD carburetors. Shallow, runner up at the season opener in Galat just two short weeks ago. And Brad Cox on the right-hand side out of Davenport, Florida. The Mickey Thompson 1990 Mustang for Nitrous Outlet. RPM transmission, Davis Traction, and loves trucking. Use your number six qualifier to 470 with a six. Shallow comes in number nine qualifier to Side by side. Almost identical reaction times, and the wind light's going to shine for shallow. 474.0. Cox goes a 476 with a 9. 7th out, separated when they left the starting line. But it was an 036 margin down at the stripe for Matt Shallow. Ford versus Chevrolet on this matchup. Tommy Thrasher on the right-hand side. The Massachusetts-based 93 Mustang. They call him Turbo Tommy for Hart's Turbo to Soma Race Engines. He went a 477.6 and landed in the number 10th qualified position yesterday. And David Knight out of Kannapolis, North Carolina. The Knight Performance 1972 Nova. Knight Supercars, Harrell Engine and Dyno, Rossler Transmission, Forced Induction Turbos. David Knight was your number five qualifier at a 470 with a six. To the top end, look at David Knight, 475 with a 7, 476 one for Tommy Thrasher. Knight was 40 going by the tree, and that's where all the difference was. Thrasher a little bit tardy with an 085 light. But David Knight goes A to B, takes 049 down at the stripe to move on to the next round. Brad McBride, left side of the racetrack out of Granite Falls, North Carolina, the Blitzkrieg, 63 Volkswagen. WPC signed in Fab, Schaefer's Oil, Yachts RV, FE Prince, Borg Warner Turbochargers, and Lubricin. McBride comes in your number 11 qualifier to 481.0. And Brian Hunt on the right hand side out of Remington, Virginia, the 1990 Mustang. Your number four qualifier to 469.4. And Derek, we had an interesting conversation <laughs> with Brian Hunt up here in the race control earlier this afternoon. We did. He showed me a picture, or he showed us a picture of the car. It was on Thursday at about, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, and it wasn't painted yet. Yeah. He painted it overnight, came to the track on Friday. <laughs> they, did, they didn't test, and uh, he said, I'm not the lifting type. That's what he told us. We're so. getting this thing together in one way or the other. He said, you might have to clean up after me, but I'm getting there. And like the car goes silent. Yeah. 
Wow. Oh. Brad Man. McBride, 480, best run of the weekend for him by hundredth of a second in the heat of the day at 143 miles an hour. So Brad McBride gets the round win. Did you notice when the shoot came out for McBride, the whole back of the car <laughs> went to the right hand okay. side. It was crazy. Wind caught it there? Yeah. So. Steve D, left side of the racetrack, the 69 Camaro. It's going to 491.8. Comes in as your number 12 qualifier. Your reigning world champion, your current points leader, lines up alongside. That's Blake Denton out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. The 76 Camaro for Franklin Electric, Smartcom, Redline Oil Hoosier. Tap Musi Mill underneath the hood. And Jeff Pierce turning the wrenches, tuning on that machine. Your attention to the pit area, please. Elite Top Dragster, call for you to the staging lanes. Elite Top Dragster, we need you to staging. Elite Top Dragster. It's Blake Denton. Steve D. Schomburg, Ontario, Canada. And it's not the fact that we don't want to say Steve D's last name. It's just the fact that we can't figure out how to pronounce it. It's going to be a train wreck if we try <laughs> to. Oh, man. Uh -oh. Steve is getting all crossed up out there. That car went left. It went right. And Blake Denton goes on by for the win. 471.54. Franklin Electric Camaro. And, and Derek, they make it look easy, but that is not an easy task to get that small tire down an eighth mile in 4.7 seconds. No, absolutely not. And you got to factor in horsepower, weight, bringing power in. Take the power away. There's a lot that goes into that. Blake Denton's car. It's a nice lap. And that. I'm not sure if that's going to be low for the session or not. I think it's low so missed far. A, missed a few pairs. So. Tony Orts next up on the left hand side, the 68 Firebird for PER Race Engines. And Dan Wettstein on the right hand side, a little play to Maryland. The Essex Motorsports 1990 Mustang for Pro Charger, UPR, Atomizer, ATI. Maximal Racing Oils and Mincer Motorsports. Dan was your number two qualifier. A 465.7. Tony Orton can get down the summit side. No problem whatsoever for him. Dan Wettstein's going to walk away, though, at 470. But look at Tony Orts, 496 at 147. The best Orts had ran all weekend was 524. Hats off to the Oswego, Illinois. PER Racing Engines Firebird for Tony Orts. Dan Wettstein looks through this round and moving on in Super Street. Your number one qualifier earned himself a bye run here. First round, that's Derek Moda out of Peabody, Massachusetts. The Kool-Aid Express 93 Mustang for Hart's Turbochargers, DeSoma Race Engines. And East Point Recovery. In qualifying, Moda went a 62 and a 61. Elite Top Dragster, Elite Top Dragster, you should be in the staging lanes. Elite Top Dragster, you should be in the lanes.
Moda picks up the front tire. Sachet's out wow. there. Off the gas. Coasted through at a 473. Wow. So it'll be Derek Moda taking on Gage Lamas next round. Brad McBride and Knight will face each other. Dan Wettstein has a bye run. And Blake Denton takes on Matt Shallow. So now we move into Magnafuel, elite top sportsman. Presented by Par Racing Engines. Great to see Henry Underwood out here at the racetrack this afternoon. Yeah, they obviously uh, we talked about it start of the year, and one of the cars in elite top sportsman that we did not see coming to the starting line was Henry Underwood. He has been fighting the fight against cancer and uh, he's been on everyone's minds. We've seen so many drivers right on their back windows, praying for Henry, racing for Henry, and uh, they did a motor raffle for him, but he is out here, being able to watch some PDRA drag racing. Good to see him. And uh, some drama here on the starting line already in our first pair. Dwayne Silence left side. Jackie Bennett was on the right side. Did his burnout. Car wouldn't back up. He had to pull on down the racing surface. So Dwayne Silence will be on a competition single. Dwayne runnered up at our first event down at Galat Motorsports Park. He's 19 going by the tree, 387-2 on the 387 to be 21 total. And that'll bring up Scott Wise, left side of the racetrack, the Wise Guy Corvette, 63, split window. He's dialed in at a 386, and Randy Perkinson on the right-hand side. We talked about Silence being runner-up. Well, he lost to Randy Perkinson in this Mustang. Out of South Chesterfield, Virginia, the Perkinson Racing Oakwood Monument, G-Force built, 67 Ford. Perkinson's going to dial in at a 382. Weiss on a 386. We'll come down to the starting line. So Scott Weiss, that's exactly where he qualified at. Randy Perkinson dials up a couple hun. That's well, pretty impressive. Look at these drivers out there driving the stripe at you know, 3.7, 3.8 seconds, 200 plus mile per hour looking over, grabbing brake pedal. So Perkinson's in, Here comes the tree. Green lights to pair. How about 003 and 006? Anybody's drag race and the finish line stripe. It is going to be Randy Perkinson, 383-3, 188 miles an hour. Scott Wise is 389 at 174. He's way down on speed. But Randy Perkinson by 22 thou. It's their first. Magnafield Top Sportsman, 48. Presented by Corbin's RV. Magnafuel Top Sportsman 48. We need you to the staging lanes. Cheyenne Stanley, left side of the racetrack out of Cynthia, Kentucky, to Parker Paving. 07 Mustang dials in out of 397. And Brian LaFlamme on the right hand side out of Gilbert, Arizona. The big stuff. Total management 67 Mustang dials in out of 377 for YO Motorsports and LaFlamme Motorsports. All right, 
Brian, oh, somebody's way late, and that is Cheyenne Stanley. It's 379 here for Brian LaFlame at 177. Killed about eh, 20 miles per hour. So he will get the big stuff. Mustang into round number two of Elite Top Sportsman. Cheyenne goes 403 up 397 to 186. Jeremy Creesman, left side of the racetrack, the Skittles, 2017 Camaro for CNC Chemical, par racing engine, dials in at a 387. Tim Molnar, your number one qualifier in the category on the right-hand side of the Seville, Ohio, the high-maintenance 68 Camaro for TRM Manufacturing, gym attachments, ARC gases, Billy Albert horsepower underneath the hood scoop. He'll be dialed in at a 379. Yeah, so Tim Molnar back to tune up, tune up off of the uh, mirror just a bit. Slows it up here in race day. So weather conditions a little different than what they seen last night. Qualifying. And wants to play it safe. There goes Molnar. He's 30 on the tree and in trouble. And it's going to be Jeremy Creespin, 388, one above at 183. Tim Molnar goes 377.9 on the 379 dial in. He killed about five miles per hour, but the reaction time difference, that's really what gave Jeremy Creespin the edge there. Zach Hauser next up on the left-hand side of the racetrack. The Teddy Hauser race cars. 2000 Firebird out of Lincoln to North Carolina. Dials in out of 390 and Tim Pat on the right-hand side out of Charleston, Illinois. The PAP Auto Body 2016 Corvette for Nesbitt Performance. And Barker Max Tuning dials in out of 385. Red Hauser, stage and ready. Tim Papp works his way in. The little red Corvette turns it loose. And there's already a win line involved here. Zach Hauser goes seven thou red. Tim Papp gonna go 381 with a seven at 199. And the Charleston, Illinois, Papp auto body entry will move on into round two. And it will be Brian LaFlam taking on Tim Papp for that matchup. Our next pair completing the burnout process. Bruce Thrift on the left-hand side of the racetrack at away cross Georgia. The color be gone. 2018 GTO. Car power plant. Chassis engineering on board that machine. Dials in out of 385. And Glenn Butcher on the right-hand side out of Doylestown, Ohio. The Butcher and Son Demolition 69 Camaro. For Hoosier Tire, Bruzy Trans, and Albert Race Engine. Butcher, 376 the dial in. Glenn Butchers, Camaro. Qualified number two, as Scotty talked about, the number one qualifiers out of here in round one. So 
can go down just a few pairs ago. It's like some old school top sportsman racing. First thrift, Glid Butcher. Both well, been doing it for quite a long time. 004 to a 34. Butcher's better at the starting line. Look at Glenn Butcher. He lays down 12 total. <laughs> 12 total at 376, 8187. Butcher drops about nine mile per hour down there. Bruce goes 385. He's dead six <laughs> at 191. Both drivers getting after it. Nice laps. Tim Lawrence, Dan Ferguson, backing up after they completed the burnouts. Lawrence on the left-hand side out of Princeton, West Virginia. The 2013 Camaro dials in at a 395. And Dan Ferguson on the right-hand side out of Harrisburg, North Carolina. The Dean Young Motorsports 68 Camaro. He'll be dialed in at a 388. There goes Ferguson, right-hand side. He's behind by a 15th out the starting line. Tim Lawrence is going to be your winner at 397, two above at 182. Now, you got to remember, Tim Lawrence did very well at Galat just two weeks ago, and he's already turned on the wind lights here today. Brian Tiff, left side of the racetrack, the Schween Motorsports 2020 Corvette. Charlie Buck horsepower, 941 cubic inches of it. He'll be dialed in at a 381. Was supposed to face off against Jamie Fowler. Fowler, I believe, suffered catastrophic engine failure yesterday. So he is not making the call here in the opening round. Magnafuel Top Sportsman 48, presented by Corbin's RV. Magnafuel Top Sportsman 48, presented by Corbin's RV. You should be in the staging lane. Tiff grabbing a little bit of wheel out there past half track for flat lifted early at 152. So your matchups next round in elite top sports where will be Creaseman and Perkinson head to head. The flame will take on Pap, Butcher and Tiff, Silence and Lawrence. Now it's time for elite top drag shirts. Take the racetrack here in round number one. Our first pair out, Patrick Forrester. Out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the 2014 American chassis dials in out of 380. And Mike Kopko on the right-hand side, the Steel City Rocket, 2012 NN chassis for Kopko's Auto Service. Mike dials in out of 387. Patrick Forrester, Mike Kopko, ready to turn him loose. 
Team Sunoco Dragster, 39 and 19 thou behind. There's the wind light for Mike Kopko, 386 and three above at 185. 383 for Patrick Forrester at 187 miles an hour. Still City Rocket, Mike Kopko, your winner there. Kyle Harris up next on the left-hand side. The Buford, Ontario, Canada. The Altered Beast of 2015 Horton. Double O permits and service. Hard Quip, Hartman Machine Works. Dials in out of 374. And Alan O'Brien on the right-hand side. The 2022 Race Tech for Greenbrier Excavating. Barry Allen Race Engines, Mickey Thompson, and Weaver Automotive. Dials in out of 385. Man, Alan O'Brien's way late. Kyle Harris with the advantage, and O'Brien's going to break out here. 382 with a 9, 181 the speed of the 377 run out of Kyle Harris's machine at 187. Kellen Farmer next up, left side of the racetrack out of Graham, North Carolina. The Race Tech Race Cars 2020. Race Tech, FTI, Strange Perform or Strange Engineering, Hoosier Tire, thousand out of three seventy-seven. Charles Carisi on the right-hand side at Asheville, North Carolina. The Curtis High Tech twenty-four next-gen chassis, line-to-line -line coatings, par racing engines. He dials in out of 377. Heads up or on right here in the opening round. Yeah, Carisius car, the twenty-four model next-gen, brand new off the jig this year. Such a beautiful piece, man. You go over there and take a look at that thing and details that they put into it second to none yeah, Ray Miller took a uh, business venture of next gen and uh, they are producing some really really cool pieces out of his shop Twenty-six to a twenty-five, almost dead even at the starting line. And by fifteen thou, it's going to be Farmer, Kellen Farmer, and Team Race Tech at three eighty-two off the three seventy-seven. Charles was three eighty-three and one eighty-five there. Brian Anderson next up, left side of the racetrack out of Carson, Virginia. The 23 Race Tech dials in out of 376. And Larry Roberts on the right hand side, past world champion for Roberts Equipment Repair. 2016 Race Tech dials in out of 382. Final one to stage, Larry Roberts. He's set. Larry 16 and behind. And Brian Anderson. It's going to be moving on. One above 377 at 186. Larry runs off to a 398 a lapse time. 187 miles an hour off the 382 dial-in. Brian Anderson. In round number two, elite top dragster. Russ Whitlock, left side of the racetrack, the Sunrise Tire, Race Tech out of Moxville, North Carolina. He'll be dialed in out of 387. And Scott Lucan on the right-hand side out of Perry Hall, Maryland. The Lucan Automotive Spitzer chassis dials in out of 385.
And Russ Whitlock gets after him, turns one foul red. It's going to be Scott Lucan at 079 and 385, dead zero. So the Spitzer race car for Lucan Automotive. Your round winner there. Nick Hamilton, left side of the racetrack out of Dresden, Ohio, the 20 diamond chassis, dials in out of 379, and Frank Falter, the candy man on the right-hand side. Out of Mount Airy, Maryland, the Newton Race Engineering Machine, dials in out of 375. Nick Hamilton, sounds like he's pedaling it out there. 384 off the 379 dial in. Frank Folder had the advantage of the starting line. He was 021, got there first. It goes 377, 173 miles an hour. He's two off the dial. Frank Folder with the candy man. Be back for round two. Bruce Westfall on the right hand side from Granville. Ohio, the Angry Grape 2019 Miller chassis for outside edge, JK upholstery and clear one. He'll be dialed in at a 378. Your reigning world champion lines up alongside here on the left side of the racetrack. That's Steve Furr out of Harrisburg, North Carolina. The 2013 American chassis they call the Red Rocket. Right trailers, Hoosier Tire, VP Race Fuels, Mosier Engineering, and a par power plant in between the frame rails has Furr dialed in at a 385. Oh, Bruce Westfall is perfect. And Bruce Westfall not going to be able to seal the deal against Steve Furr. He was 26 green, 387 on the 385. Westfall is uh, above the dial by seven hundredths of a second. He should have dialed where he qualified at. And he would have laid down a bunch of seven, seven pack there. Yeah. Michael White, left side of the racetrack. Out of Arden, North Carolina, the 2015 Maddox chassis for CNC Chemical. Dials in out of 375. And Angie Travis on the right hand side out of Hickory Enclosed Trailers. The 2016 Miller chassis from Conover, North Carolina. Dials in out of 387. Michael White, 379 the dial. Larice Motorsports Insurance. Top Dragster 48 presented by Yonts RV. We need you. Michael White, crucial round for him. And there's a win light. 383 for White, 188 miles an hour. Angie Travis takes the Hickory Enclosed Trailer. Miller Build Race Car. Finish line first by 34 thousandths, but breaks out 385 on the 387. Larice Motorsports Insurance, top dragster 48, presented by Yonts RV. We need you. Magnafuel, top sportsman of 48, presented by Corbin's RV. Brian Pryor, Mark Payne, your first up. Pryor, left side of the racetrack. The Iceman Camaro is going to be dialed in at a 505. Mark Payne, right hand side, the House of Payne Cavalier. The twin turbo LS platform dials in at a 411. Real quick, just get a hit on our elite top dragster matchups for round two Folter and Copco, White and Fur, Anderson and Harris, Farmer and Lucan. 
Those are your matchups in the Elite Top Dragster for the next round. Right now, Mark Payne, Brian Pryor on the starting line, as Scotty was just talking about. Get ready to turn these loose. Petersburg and Waynesboro. Two Virginia runners, and by 9th out, Mark Payne's day is done. Four, and he goes dead one. Somebody go, to, somebody go check out Mark Payne. Brian Pryor, 513 off the 505, 128 miles an hour. That's a tough break for House of Payne entry. Dan Germano, left side of the racetrack, the Royal Purple Oil, 68 Camaro for part racing engines, barrel battery, Miller Welder's Hoosier Tire and NGK dials in at a 420, and Jeff Brooks, Kaiser Compressors, 51 Henry J out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, for Royal Purple and Sonny's Racing Engines. Jeff's gonna dial in at a 406. the Kaiser Compressor Henry J for Jeff Brooks. He is 25 green. He was 10 thou behind at the starting line and breaks out by four thousandths of a second. 405 with a six on the 406 dial in. Dan Germano is going to be moving on. 421, 167, and he was 15 green. Solid run overall for Dan Germano. Travis Butler, left side of the racetrack. The Peninsula Automotive 53 Corvette dials in at a 430. And Joe Robichek on the right-hand side. The 68 Camaro out of Niceville, Florida from Mazir, K&N, Hoosier, and Sonny's Racing Engines dials in at a 420. 430 to a 420. Travis Butler. I was wondering if Travis was going to see a wind light there because Joe Robichek, but played it smart. 438, lifts early at 134. Joe's done this a time or two. He is going to be victorious. It's Travis's car never left the starting line. Don Teague and Nick Maloney come up next. Teague on the left-hand side. The Chevy 2 out of Delaware dials in at a 448. And Nick Maloney, right-hand side out of Brentwood, New Hampshire. 
The TT Motorsports 69 Camaro dials in at a 426. Final call, attention to the pits. Final call for back half top dragster. Back half top dragster, you need to be in the stage lanes if you're not already there. And Maloney rolls in, turns both bulbs on accidentally. They catch that and he backs out. And Don Teague's waiting there for him to do so. So they'll restage. First team auto parts, Chevy 2. Takes on the TT Motorsports Camaro, Nick Maloney. Eight foul red for Nick Maloney. Don Teague, 15 green and runs it on down to a 4.45 elapsed time at 156. Dan Christopher next up, left side of the racetrack at Raymond, New Hampshire. The TT Motorsports Cobalt dials in at a 4.29. And now David Owski on the right-hand side out of Columbus, New Jersey, the 2010 GXP. He'll be on a 419 dial. Christopher, Al Davidowski. Tree works its way down. Green lights a pair. The advantage to Al Davidowski. The Pontiac GXP going to be your winner at 419, dead six. Christopher goes 28 7 on the 29 and breaks out. Barry Danilek, left side of the racetrack out of Mooresville, North Carolina. The 68 Camaro is going to be dialed in at a 402 and Chad Trailer. The Keith Cox owned 63 Corvette. They call the Orange Crush. Dials in at a 422. Danilux out in front. Chad Trailer, that's not a good thing. And no way. Oh, man. To Barry Danilux, his 20 green goes 399.5. And Chad Trailer, who had issues at the start, was 402 and goes 530 off the 422 dial. And there is a wind light in Chad Trailer's lane. And, yeah. Wow.
Mark Flagg, left side of the racetrack. 422, Mike Alexander Jr. on the right-hand side. 408 in the battle of the 63 split windows. Mark Flegg is way late letting go. He's 169, and Mike Alexander is going to take the walking tall garage Corvette to the next round. 413 on the 408, and Mark Flegg is going to go 465 here off the pace as well. Ron Biondo and Chad Tilly up next. Biondo left side of the racetrack from Macedonia, Ohio. The 94 Lumina dials in at a 422. Chad Tilly. From Winston Salem, the TNT Express Beretta dials in at a 450. Ron Biondo, Macedonia, Ohio, the Lumina, left side. Chad Tilly for TNT Express, wheeling the Beretta. This pair is in. Here comes the tree, and they're green. Seven thou going Biondo's way. The summit side scoreboard lights up. 422 with a 9, 160 miles an hour. Ron Biondo is your winner. Chad Tilly is going to go 452 at 153, and not good enough there. Brian Warner, left side of the racetrack. Out of Hubbard, Ohio, the Morrow's Auto Service 68 Camaro. Dials in out of 422. And Ronnie Proctor, right-hand side Ford Mustang. 417 to dial in for Proctor. Brian Warner, after that big long burnout, backs up, ready to turn it loose against Ronnie Proctor. Proctor could be in trouble. The Mustang is behind at the starting line by 5 thou. Ronnie Proctor going to be victorious. 23 total as Brian Warner is 17 thou above the dial. 423, 7 at 171. Was holding 11 thou at the starting line. That was a good drag race, but Ronnie Proctor ends up with the winning side of it. Aaron Glasser, left side of the racetrack. The two-phase 69 Camaro out of Kentucky. Dials in out of 387. And Dickie Smith on the right-hand side. The Corbin's RV 07 Stratus. Dials in at a 415.
Let's see if Dickie Smith can get that car finally run like it should. When luck's on your side, you got to take it. Dickie got by in the first round of eliminations. Corbin's RV Stratus on the right side. And for Glasser Collision Centers, Aaron Glasser behind the wheel. And this one's going to be all Aaron Glasser. 412, 169 the speed. He was 13 green. Dickey goes 517, 170. And they're going to have to do some testing and get that car figured out. I'm not sure what keeps plaguing them, but. Kevin Brandon comes up next on the left side of the racetrack out of Gaffney, South Carolina. The 69 Camaro is going to be dialed in at a four flat. Jeff Melnick on the right-hand side. The exotic Fab Avenger dials in at a 420. It's a good matchup you might want to watch. Jeff Melnick is a tough competitor here in the category, and Kevin Brandon has been double-O almost every hit. Super consistent race car here in race number one in its debut. Melnick's in, there's Brandon. They let go off the top, green lights to pair. The advantage going to Kevin Brandon. Win light to Jeff Melnick. Four foul on the breakout for Kevin Brandon. He killed 20 miles per hour and it still was not enough. He took 28 thou at the finish line. Melnick goes 420 dead, seven at 166. He was down about seven to eight mile per hour. But Kevin. All he could do down there, but just did not kill enough. Chad Morrison left side out of Statesville, North Carolina, the 57 Chevy. Dials in out of 436, and Derek Barnes on the right-hand side, the S10 pickup truck for Barnes Excavating. Dials in out of 427. Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous Cars, we need you. Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous Cars, we need you to staging for round number two. Pro Nitrous, we need you. Derek Barnes, a little tardy on the starting line. Is Chad Morrison going to be there taking advantage of it? It is. Morrison, your winner, 437. One above the dial in as Derek Barnes gets there at 425. Seven up the 427 dial in for the breakout. Now we make the jump over to Larice Motorsports Insurance, top dragster 48, presented by Yonts RV. Lucas Salemi, left side of the racetrack, first out. G-Force Race Cars, Resolution Racing. Ali Installations, MSR Performance, dials in out of 437. And Michael Sullivan, right-hand side out of Peabody, Massachusetts. The Malden Machine, 2013 Undercover, dials in out of 430. Ooh, 23 to a 28, it is going to be Lucas Salemi. 439, 157 the speed, takes out Michael Sullivan and goes 433 off the 430 dial in. And now at the finish line, Stripe going Salemi's way. Chaz Silence, left side of the racetrack out of Jacksonville, North Carolina, the Silence Service Center Race Tech for Cameron's Torque Converters, dials in out of 426. 
and T.J. Harper on the right-hand side out of Harrisonburg, Virginia. The Kenny's Auto Mart Race Tech dials in out of 438. Jazz Silence is in control. And there's the win light. 426. He is 29 total. DJ Harper goes dead four. 42 total and not going to turn on the win light for TJ Harper. Al Miller left side. Out of Chester, Maryland, 2013 Miller chassis dials in out of 435, and Max Butcher on the right-hand side, 442. Miller was in trouble at the starting line, and Max Butcher takes control of that race. 32 green and 444 at 148 spells a win for the Doylestown, Ohio. Butcher and Son demolition contracting entry. Tisha Wilson comes up next, left side of the racetrack out of Salisbury, North Carolina. The Greenbrier excavating race tech dials in out of 396. And Matt Parlett on the right hand side, the Computech. Miller chassis dials in at a 444. There goes Tisha. Matt Parlett. Says, ah, I'm going to take the win here. 18 up front, 446 to 146. They're on the other end there as Tish Wilson goes 399 to 172. Parlett killed about 15 mile per hour. Tyler Rudolph, the Derek Wood. Wolf Trucking 2010 American Chassis dials in out of 422. And Danielle Gonzalez on the right hand side out of Wallingford, Connecticut. The 23 American Chassis dials in out of 388. Danielle Gonzalez trying to keep that momentum going. Comes off the win. The opening race of the season of the Red Line Oil. Your A Series. He's got a shot here. 16 up front. Rudolph's at 36 green. And Danielle Gonzalez is moving on. 389, one off the dial. 176 miles an hour. Tyler goes down there, goes 423 at 160. Kenny Young left side out of Petersburg, Virginia, the KMC Racing 2020 Race Tech. For Battery Barton and BTE Transmissions dials in at a 435. And Brian Maine on the right hand side out of Chesapeake, Virginia, the 2014 Miller chassis. Brian's going to be dialed in at a 398.
Brian. Things are not looking good for you, unfortunately. 57 green and Kenny Young goes 17 to be 12 foul above the dial. Kenny Young, your winner. Petersburg, Virginia Racetech for KMC Racing. In the next round of Larice Motorsports Insurance Top Dragster presented by Yance RV. Richie Allen next up on the left-hand side out of Kilmarnock, Virginia. The 2023 Race Tech dials in out of 407 and Stacy Hall on the right-hand side. The Fulton Power 2021 American chassis dials in out of 437. Five foul difference in reaction time. Richie Allen gonna go 407 to nine there and be moving on. Will Creaseman comes up next at Asheville, North Carolina, the CNC Chemical. Par powered 07 race tech for Sam and Dave's Auto Sales. Dials in at a 438. And Larry Strickland on the right hand side. Larry out of Oxford, Florida. The 20 Elite Chassis dials in out of 396. Reesman's in, Strickland set to go. Green light to pair, and one reaction time starts with a straight number, and that's never good. 136 for Larry Strickland. Will Creaseman was 12 green and 443 off the 438 at 146. To be your winner there. Patrick McMath on the right hand side, the W Black and Associates 2017 Race Tech for NGK, a bruzy, and 660 race car technologies. Dials in at a 434. Troy Williams, left side. The Nesbitt Performance Engines 2010 Miller chassis for Hoosier Tire, House of Pain, Weavers Automotive, and Team W Motorsports. Troy dials in out of 439. That McMath finally lights his pre-stage bulb. Troy Williams was sitting there for a bit. And these two drivers are going to work their way in. They're ready to turn them loose. Find out. And go to the next round. Troy Williams. Perfect. And... There's the wind light. Summit side, 441 off the 439 for Troy. McMath was 55 green and dead three. He is 58 total, and it's not going to spell a wind light. Patrick McMath today. Shannon Roberts, left side out of Greenville, South Carolina. The Roberts equipment. 2010 Race Tech dials in at a 425, and Kim Messer on the right hand side at a Newton Grove, North Carolina, the Seto Race Tech dials in at a 436.
So Shannon Roberts, Kim Messer. Gonna move into the three stage beams here in just a minute. What was transpiring out there was the fact that Shannon Roberts turned her top bulb on. Kimberly Messer flagged the starter. Advised, hey, can't really see the tree. Messer goes 15 foul red. Shannon's gonna be 004. And 438 there for Kimberly Messer, 427 Shannon Roberts. Next up, Nick Maloney, left side. The TT Motorsports Dan Page chassis dials in out of 423. And Kevin Roof out of Mechanicsville, Maryland. The Gibson Motorsports American chassis dials in out of 431. 